Hello! Now it... Whoa, hold on. Now it's a V-jump scare. Hold on a second. My levels are all messed up. I was doing, I was doing audio recording earlier. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no, no. There we go. I think that's better. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. I got cheese. Yeah, I went downstairs to get to get wine and then I was like, you know what? I didn't check to see if Spotify was actually pumping through OBS and it was not. So I'm sorry for the weird silence at the beginning, but there we go. Thank you. This is nice wood. Ow, it's got a splinter. It's bamboo. Um, yeah, so before we get started, I have like I wanted this is stupid, but I want to show you guys. Okay. So this is my old brace for well that's not it for my wrist because this is my bum wrist right so this is like my old brace right it hurts this thing hurts because this little piece of there's a metal here that jams into my hand and there's a piece of metal here that jams into my hand right it's painful it hurts i don't like it but i had to use it and it sucks to sleep in because like this is not this is not comfortable crap right so this came in the mail today, and I'm just so excited. I wanted to show you guys. But it's my new brace. Look how soft this is. But then it's also got, like, a pillow for your hand. <laughs> this is so dumb. I was so excited. I wanted to show it off. Look. Look at this. When you stick your thumb in, like that, right? Like that. Look how cozy. It's warm. It's soft on the inside. And then you just... It's for sleeping in. <laughs> It's literally a club. Isn't that great? There's no metal bits jamming my hand. It keeps my fingers like forced in a good position. So excited about this. It's really funny, but I was just so excited that this came in the mail today. So that's my excitement for today. It's like a happy hug for my hand, which I really like. So I'm excited to sleep with that tonight. But you're not here for this. You're here for cheese. So, let me take this off and get the cheese. Yeah, it's very comfy. I cannot wait to sleep in it tonight. I'm not going to lie. I'm very excited. It's, and so, like, this one's for, like, wrist injuries, you know, to immobilize the wrist. This one's for carpal tunnel. So, hopefully that means it'll work better. But the real reason why we're here, hopefully it can. Move it. It's 10 pounds of cheese. I will say I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Cheese Brothers. I bought this with my own money of my own free will. I, I was not sponsored or gifted this or anything like that. So this is not a sponsored stream. Is that a blue one or a jean cast? A jast. It's a jast now. So we're going to open this up. Um, let's see if I can open it. You guys can see it, and I can see it. We do it this way. It's kind of a lot of cheese. God damn it! Thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you, thank you. All right, hold on. Let me. My sound levels in my headset are all messed up. Let me bring this down, right, and then bring it up for you guys. And then I can hear OBS. There we go. Unfollowed? Why are you unfollowing? Not Taylor McCook. You knew it was nuts. No, Wisconsin cheese. It's good cheese. So um, I'm just going to take a bit of everything, and then this is all everything on the on the screen in front of you is this cheese. Is this cheese? And we will rank the cheese. There's 15 cheeses, I think. It would all be F. Yeah, so I'm gonna move this over to the side so it's out of the way, because it's big. I'm gonna move it out of the way, open her, open her up. Hopefully not take out my monitor, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I got my, uh, my utensil, what the heck? What is that? Oh, it's tape. I got my utensil, still got tape on it. I got my utensil <laughs> for opening. I'm going to drink. I also, uh, I got wine. I've, you can't tell, but it's wine. It's a uh, Pinot Grigio because I looked up 
98% of these for some reason are Gouda. So I looked up what wine goes well with Gouda. Oh, Clay, thank you for the gift subs. Oh no, oh no, there's no OBS. Oh no, oh no. Shoot. Oh, caught the end of that one. I got you, Clay. I got you. I got you. Yeah, so so I picked up Pinot Grigio because that works best with um, Gouda, I guess. Oh, yeah, I'm dropping frames. Um, Give me one second. Can I get a Hoya? I we watching here. Hello. Okay, is it back? No pings could have been bad. I know. It's really windy here, so it might be the wind. But But yeah, let's start with the cheese, shall we? Okay, so I don't really, I'm just going to go uh, down the list, I guess. The sounds are back. Okay. Um, so I think... Ara, ara. Choo, choo. A hair? Just a hair high? Oh, yeah, okay, hold on. I gotta, I'm trying to fix the internet. All right. Okay, good, good sub. Okay, Hillbilly Swamp Rat, thank you for the resub. Bigly, thank you for the resub. And we just got a hype train, so thank you guys for that. BG, I just turned it down. Calm down, Robo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out every single Gouda. We're going to look at the Gouda. Because there's a lot of Gouda. Some Gouda cheese. So we're just going to stack some Gouda. I turned it down. I don't know what that is. If it's round, it's Gouda. Oh, it's Havarti. This is Gouda. Gouda. That's provolone, okay. Gouda. Havarti. This one just says Italian style cheese. And I think this is Gouda. Gouda. And then this is cheddar and cheddar. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven goudas today. So it's time for gouda. Uh, cheese and hands, let's go. So not only are half of these goudas, right? But then like, this is a spicy gouda. This is not. This is a spicy gouda. This is not. This is not. This is a spicy gouda. And this is a spicy gouda. So more, most of them are spicy on top of that. Eat them all at once, just be like, ah, eat all of it. Maybe not all of it. So let's start with, these both have habanero, and then this is a scorpion pepper. I don't know what's spicier, scorpion or habanero, but we're going to start with the spicy ones, I think. Is my think? Is my think thunk? I don't know why there's so much gouda. I don't even think, like, I don't personally think spicy cheese for Wisconsin either, you know what I mean? Because you can get a suit for something. Well, so it says, where is it? It says it's got inspired by Asiago and Parmigiano. So I'll probably really like this one because I really like both of those cheeses. Scorpion is worse though. Okay, let's start with the worst. So we're going to start with the scorpion. I'm going to just slice it open and then slice off a chunk and just eat it. That's what we're going to do. Scorpion probably tastes better. This one's mango habanero and this one's jalapeno habanero and chipotle so this one's probably gonna be really spicy is what i'm thinking also i'm sorry if i sound snotty or gunky the the everything's getting knocked loose i'm sure with the eating spicy cheese i'm sure more will get knocked loose so i might get gunky i'm sorry 
Wisconsin has a surprisingly large amount of spicy foods. So, you know, more, more than black pepper. That's true. Okay, I'm going to smell it. All right, so that is, so this is the El Diablo, which is, oh, yeah, it's over here. Hold on. That would be, where are you? I saw it right here. That's this cheese right here. We're eating cheese. So this is the, okay, scorpion pepper gouda cheese. I got my pinot grigio. We're fancy today. I think I'm just going to cut off a slice and just eat it. I don't know. I'm getting pieces of little shredded cardboard in it. That's like a solid taste, right? A sous chef ramen. You know he's sleeping. He's late. Okay, here we go. Watch this minute. Now the stream is down again. I'm watching those frames drop. Oh no. Are we back? Hello? Chat? Chat? Are we back? Oh man, the delay is rough. If you have a delay, try refreshing your browser. It's green on my end. gonna heavily drink. Never gonna be able to eat cheese on stream. I'm no longer dropping frames. You guys should be fine. Okay, we're back. I don't have... I'm not dropping flame frames. Hello. You've been up live? Well, thank you for telling me, Goose. <laughs> the tornado is outside. No. I don't want to delay the stream. All right. Try refresh. Tell Goose, tell them to refresh their browser again. We're back again. Are we? Are we good? Guys? Hello? Riot? Ola? Are you just judging the delay by how long it takes her to read your comment? Because we all know it takes you. Why are they so mean? Okay, I'm going to start eating the cheese, I guess. refresh oh man if that's if that's the delay that's like a good minute and a half okay are you guys good can i eat the cheese consume continue i haven't eaten it yet so okay five seconds five seconds is solid we can do five seconds all right i'm gonna eat it 
It smells spicy. It reminds me of the um, the MRE cheese. I'm <laughs> not excited about this at all. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, it's really spicy. Oh. Oh. Mmm. I'm going to eat the whole piece I cut off, but... <laughs> Okay. Um. Okay. I don't know if I like that or not. Okay, hold on. <laughs> um, my face is like red. I'm warm. We're gonna try a little bit more. I'm a sucker for pain. It hits you in the back of the throat. It's not even like on the tongue. It's the back of the throat. <laughs> Here the sinus is doing better. They will be now. <laughs> that does not go with the peanut grease. <laughs> Okay, we gotta rank that one. Um, it's not it's not bad as I thought it was gonna be. I think I'm gonna give it like a C. It's like good, but not like Like the spice doesn't hang out too long. I don't know. It might change compared to the other ones. I don't know how the other ones are gonna be. Should it turn into a turkey? Alright, we'll do the jalapeno. Maybe we should do like a non spicy one just to kinda like cleanse the palate, right? Let's do a, let's try the smoked provolone. Yeah? This is the smoked super prova. Like I can still taste it in my throat. She's turning into a turkey. <laughs> How does it compare to shredded cheese? It's creamy. It's got a nice creamy taste, which is why I think like it, I'm not, I don't know. It's, it's not, it's not like a flavorful spicy though. It's just a, painful spicy you know what i mean that's i don't like like painful spices i don't think they're good so there's not like a good amount of flavor there it's just like creamy but like also painful spicy i do not have any amari crackers all right this one has a rind i don't know if you're supposed to eat the rind or not our salute of champagne in the sky to other brothers across the pond Classic provolone syncs up with our smokehouse to forge an oasis of flavor that's sharp, sweet, and velvety. Well, it doesn't say not to eat the rind, so. I do have table water crackers from in my in my house. I just don't have them right now. That's a good chunk. I wouldn't for a taste test. Well, now I want to taste test the rind. We're gonna taste. We're gonna because Argus told me not to. It smells very smoky. Very smoky. Very good. All right, yeah, that rind is a terrible texture. Let's try to see if we can kind of get some of that off. Let me just get a little bit of that off. <laughs> my my office is going to smell like cheese. All right, there we go. That's fine. All right. Just like small. This is tasty. This is very tasty. It's smonky, but it's like real smonk taste, not like, not like the fake smonk taste. Like I think they actually smoke this. It's very creamy. This would be very good on a sandwich. It makes my throat feel better from from the spicy one. So this one's pretty top tier. I don't know if I would give it an S, but it's very good. Let me see. That's this one. I give it an A. Things might shift around as I eat cheese, but mm, that one was good. I could probably eat that one more. Well, not probably. Like, I would eat that one more. Flappy chicken noises. Literally me suffering. Wait one sec. Mm. 
All right. So now we're going to do the jalapeno habanero chipotle gouda. The one thing I've learned so far is that I don't like pinot grigio. <laughs> Basically, you got to rank them on how good they'll be when chilling on a boat on the lake in the summer with a new Glarus, the real Wisconsin. I don't like new Glarus, so I don't like beer. It's nothing to do with new Glarus. I just don't like beer. I could just straight up, like, eat this one by itself, though. I could just, like, I could sit here and just eat it right now. Like, I kind of want to. If I didn't have to eat a bunch of other cheeses, I would, uh, I would. All right. So this is, this is the jalapeno habanero and chipotle gouda. Like minstrels roaming the parched desert, the three amigos enliven any setting with flavor and plenty of spice. Chipotle, habanero, and jalapeno peppers create a perfect symphony of flavors in this creamy gouda cheese. Try a nachos, grilled cheese, or your next meat and cheese plate. No, it's true. I hate beer. It's true. Alright. This one doesn't have a rind. I'm gonna sniff it. Ugh. It smells like the nacho cheese at the Brewer Stadium. <laughs> If if you know what that smells like, we'll get a good hunk. We'll get a good hunk. It smells exactly like the nacho cheese from the Brewers Stadium. Like exactly like it. <laughs> this is a this is a three amigos jalapeno habanero and chipotle gouda. Oh, it's not spicy at all. There's no spice. There's like flavor, but there's no like spicy. I hate they know exactly what cheese smell you're describing. <laughs> it's true. All right, hold on. I can eat another piece of that's really good. Look, we're getting braver now. Look at that chunk. Yeah, but there's habanero in it. That's really good. Hmm. Hmm. Where do I put this one? Do I like this more than the provolone? I think I'm gonna put it here. Just like that. More V stream. Let's go. That's good. I recommend that one. All right. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm That one's really good. Alright, now I feel like we need to hit something up that's not Gouda. We can do the Alpine style Adel 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 Adelheed? Adelheed? A praise cheese, like warm chalet, alpine style is a smooth, nutty sustenance you crave after developing an appetite on the slopes. Lift Adeheld to its peak melted in fondue. Ooh, fondue. Ah, that one sounds foreign. Alpine style. I will big sip my Pinot Grigio because I fancy it. A uh, delhide. Oh yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's try to cut this open without slicing my hand off. Oh, that's not how I wanted to do that. That's not how I wanted to do that. Hopefully the wind holds out for the rest of the cheese room. I probably won't stream the full like two hours just because I have to pack this all up afterwards and I do, I'm very tired. I had a very long day. You need those. Okay, you ready? I'm going to cut the whole chunk of this top off. You ready? Watch my knife skills. I'm not even looking at it. I'm looking at the screen. Ha! <laughs> Big cheese. Big cheese. Did you also have a gas leak at work? No, I just had a DEI training meeting. Okay. Oh, that one's got a smell. It's kind of like, um... Oh, it's really good. Oh, no! Fell on the floor. 
I'm trying to see if there's hair in it. There's no hair in it. There's no ramen hair in it. It's fine. It's good for your immune system, right? It's fine. It's like, um, like the, you know how like Parmesan has that like back of the tongue taste? I don't know what it's called. It's kind of like that. There's no wolf hair in it, no. Like tangy, I guess? It's really good though. I think, which one is this? This is the one with the, I gotta find it here. Oh no, did I not have it? I thought I got it. Oh no, I don't see it on here. That's not it. Oh no, it's not on here. No, it's the one I wanted to rank S to. Hold on. I missed one. Give me a second. Give me a second. We need this cheese. Oh, well, I did not spell that correct at all. A D E L H E I D. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I believe I can just do this. You know what? I'm going to just turn this off just to be safe. I think I'm fine, but. I would rather be safe than sorry. There. There you go. I got it. All right, so that's S tier. That is delicious. That is so tasty. S tier floor cheese. It's so good. I'm going to have a little bit more. It's so good. I ate it off the floor. Sponsor me, Wisconsin Cheese Brothers. I ate your cheese off the floor. <laughs> this would be very good melted. For real, for real, on God. Yeah, this is, it's by Cheese Brothers. They're Wisconsin cheese people. Esther's going in for seconds. I've, I've gone in for seconds on every cheese. <laughs> even, even the, this one. Oh, crap. That would have been a perfect time to run an ad break. All right, well, while we wait, I think what we'll do, chat, do we want to do next while they're at an ad break? Do you want to do the honey sriracha gouda or do you want to do the mango habanero gouda? These are our last two spicy spices. But then I also have this one, which I'm really excited about, which is the golden, golden baked bliss cheese, the original Wisconsin born raised by flames baked cheese you gotta heat it up because it tastes so so good i'm not gonna do that for this stream but i will after like tomorrow chihuahua breathing fire okay that's the next one then yeah this looks really good so i'm i'm not gonna heat it up for the sake of the stream because obviously that will take time but i will try it while it's heated up and i'll report back I really want to like Gouda's Grip. It's right. I really want to um just have like fondue now. Did someone say Hell Divers too? Commissar's literally addicted. Democracy. No, no, everyone's gonna know about my floor cheese addiction. It's very good. El perrito may look sweet, but watch out. This little doggy has a wicked bite. Fresh mangoes and fiery habaneros give this Gouda cheese a delectable mix of sweet and spicy flavors. Let it out for those who want to play, but be sure to keep it on a leash around more delicate palates. Welcome back, ad people. Don't worry, we didn't eat any cheese yet. We waited for you. All right, the knife.
we cut into the habanero cheese. Are we getting smells? Yeah, here. Smell. Smell it. This one's got a puppy dog on it. Where did I open it? Hold on, I opened it. I'm... I wish I had a little hot plate so I can melt this cheese, like, in, like, while, like, cut it up and, like, melt it right here, like, we, while we were waiting. This one? So, like, so I bought the box, and then this one came for free, and then this one also came for free. So, yeah, I got free cheese, guys. And they knew, they must have known it was for content. They wanted to extend the content. You had to watch your shitty anime. Oh, no. I will open this, I swear. Just set up a Korean BBQ pit on your desk. Right, like, I need a new desk, right? And that's what I want on it, a Korean barbecue pit. I'm going to give it a sniffle. Okay, it doesn't really smell spicy. It smells a little sweet. There's, like, a little bit of spice. But the, the scorpion pepper definitely was spicier. Tea light in a dream. It's so true. Imagine if it was built in, right? All right, let's go. It's cheese time. I've been painfully cheap, so I don't, four pound of Kobe and Monterey Jack, great value cheese. I mean, that's what I normally buy too. This is very much a cheese treat. All right, it smells good. Oh, there's a spicy. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's so, ugh. ugh. I should have cut off a smaller piece. I don't like this one. <laughs> oh no. No, it's not even like a like it's spicy like in a not great way. It's got that but it's like got that plasticky spicy. You know what I mean? Like my nose is like crunched up to my eyebrows right now. It's it's not a it's not a pleasant spicy. It's definitely like a fake plasticky. Yeah. I thought I would finish it. Um, I'm gonna make this one. That's not good. That's just that was an easy F. That is not good cheese. Oh, it's really bad. I'm not a big fan of like the mango habanero combo either. Like sometimes it's okay, but a lot of times it's not great. Oh, I have to get that out of my mouth. The Pinot Grigio isn't helping either. I don't know what the green Dorito bag tastes like. Look at the stack of cheeses we've eaten so far. <laughs> A combo that sounds good, but rarely is. I know, like, there's, um, was that Buffalo Wild Wings has those, is it Buffalo Wild Wings? Has the, the mango habanero? Yeah, yeah, it is. Those are pretty good. All right, so... Let's try the Havarti. I open up every cheese. And then I have to try to eat these within like a week, right? Because every cheese is open. I mean, I might go back and eat each wheel. I just want to rank them first before like I start. You know, I don't want to be full before I finish them all. You know what I mean? I'm going to read this one. Cozy up with our congenial, congenital, congenial? Cozy up with our congenital Havarti that's plush, creamy, and sweet. Bring Higi home, buttered up like a welcome embrace from the Danes. Lounge in your living room over a gla grazing board where Helga's the host of with raw honey, mustard, and just about any drink that speaks to the soul. Some every cheese and make some kind of monster queso out of all of them. That sounds like a great idea. Congenital cheese, guys. <laughs> Congenial? What does that mean? What does congenial mean? It's okay. I'm gonna spell congenital. No, there's no T. C O N G E N I A L. It means oh, celebrated. Okay, I thought this said calibrated. I was like, what? I got half a glass huh. of wine. My eyes ain't working anymore. Congenital means that it's like that way since birth. E A, a congenital birth defect. <laughs> it's deaf, not that. 
It's congenital cheese, guys. It's been this way since birth. All right. We're, okay. This is probably a pretty safe cheese. Put the knife down. Mmm. This is sweet. I never thought I would describe a cheese as sweet. This is really good. Guys, am I congenital? Congenial? Am I congenital? <laughs> it smells really good, too. It's got, like, a that like nutty... Like, kind of, like... Mm, you're something. Wow, rude. I don't know what that flavor is. It's not like Parmesan, where it's like that. It's really good. I think... Was this this one on the cow? No. It's not. Hmm. Plan B. It does have a strong flavor. I don't think I could eat a lot of it. It's definitely like maybe mixed with something else that's maybe not so strong. Like if I like melted it and then dipped bread in it. You know what I mean? A term describing semi-controlled chaos. Yes. Yeah, it's it's strong, but like not in a bad way. Yeah. My stack of cheese grows. I feel like All right, we're going to do the last gouda. And then I think we're going to hit up the baked cheese next. But not alone. Yeah. Like I could eat it alone, but not a lot. We also have a lot of cheddars. Like this is cheddar. This is cheddar. This one's called cinder block. Um, and then we have the Italian one, which I'm sure is going to have that same kind of taste. And then, oh yeah, this is eight year. Oh yeah, this one came free too. Oh, I don't think I have this one either. That's okay. This is eight. This is Cheese Brothers Reserve eight year age cheddar. So why don't we do one of these before we do the sriracha gouda? I feel really bad opening up all these cheeses now. <laughs> Like, I'm going to have to somehow reseal these tomorrow. <laughs> Open! Open! You have to have for that. Get moldy before you finish them. Nah, 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 nah. It's fine. It's fine. You guys underestimate my ability to eat cheese. I've eaten... I ate that five... What was that? Who bought that? The five pound wheel of cheese? I ate that. I ate that whole thing. No, I lied. I gave a little bit of it to All Mother. I gave like a quarter of it to All Mother, but I ate the rest of it. Yeah. I think it was Robo. I think it was Robo. Iron Gut V. I, hey, man, I grew up on cheese. This one's very difficult to open. It's got sweat. It's sweaty cheese. Sweaty. Jeez. <laughs> it's hard. It's 10 pounds. Oh, look. It's got like a... It's got like a... You can't really see it. It's got like a... The, all this. Like cheesy sweat. Oh! Oh, that's got a stank. Is that mold? Is that mold? <laughs> Hold on, watch. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Is it mold? Yeah, but like, you, there's, there, you, cheese can get moldy in a non-good way, you guys. It wouldn't make sense for this one cheese to go bad. Right? Like, all the other ones are fine. It wouldn't make sense for this one cheese to go bad. I don't know what to do with this goop now. It does kind of smell like feet. This is eight-year age cheddar. It's very hard, too. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you can hear that. 
Can you hear the cheese? I'm gonna try some. We ball. If it's gross, I'll just spit it out and not get sick. I'm on I'm on antibiotics for my nose. I'll be fine. Oh, it's got crunchies. It's definitely a cheddar. It's got that dry out your mouth cheese experience. I feel like a horse eating peanut butter. With its rich blend of nutty and tangy flavors, this fine cheese proves the adage that wisdom comes with age. It's not bad. I mean, I don't know. Like, aged cheddar is one of those weird things where, like, I don't think they're particularly, like, amazing. Ah. If I had a picture of this one, I'd probably put it, like, a D. It's okay. Maybe a C. Yeah, I'd probably like a C. Like, it's okay. It's not, like, it's fine. Something that's been aged for eight years. I don't know. I just feel like it should be, like, wah, you know? But it's fine. It's just fine. All right. Let's get, should we get bakey? No, we're going to wait on bakey. Let's get the chicken. I prefer cheddar being sharp to being aged. They both improve a bit, but sharp is better improvement. I think you're right. Yeah. We'll see. Because we got this one. So this is smoked cheddar, and then this is sharp cheddar. So we have we have comparisons. I do like when cheese has, like, that little bit of uh, crystallization in it. That, like, crunchy crystallization. I do like that. I will say that. Eight years seems excessive for cheese especially. Perhaps it might have tasted better in a max of three to five years. I mean, what was that one? I think that one cheese wheel was eight years, but I feel like that cheese wheel that got sent to me was better than this one. Or maybe it was five? I don't know. I think it was five. All right, this one is honey sriracha. So it says Bantam roosters come with a reputation. Chicken cheers! <laughs> Bantam. Hold on. I do love the cheese crystals. Bantam roosters come with a reputation, one that spurred the phrase mad as a banty rooster. They're full of spitfire and attitude like the sriracha and our bantam gouda. But cuddle and coddle these birds and they can be sweet as honey. It's all about that bantam balance. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I had to snort. And I sniff. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of got like a... It's got... Does it have Chipotle in it? Cayenne. Okay. Brown sugar, garlic powder, honey. Okay. Well, then, I don't know how I feel about sugar and cheese. That seems weird to me, doesn't it? Does that seem weird to mix sugar and cheese? I always think cheese is just cheese. It's not like extra... Double cannibalism, right? All right, this is a big chunk, so hopefully it's tasty. Oh, I just dropped it. It's gone. Gone forever. Not this piece. The other piece. I had a tiny piece. Plus there's naturally lactose and sugar. Well, okay, yeah, but like brown sugar. You know what I mean? Ah, I almost dropped it again. Um, it's okay. I'm getting like zero spicy. There's no spicy. There's like literally nothing. I'm getting a little bit smoky. A little bit. I guess there's a tiny, 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 tiny bit of spicy on the tip of my tongue. 
it's kind of sweet. Eh. Oh, there's a little bit more heat now. But, like, the actual cheese part is, like, meh. Eh. I'm gonna give that one a D. I don't, like, hate it, but I don't think I'd go out of my way to eat it again. I was expecting more of a sriracha flavor. Like, it's there now in the aftertaste, but, like, not in a great way. I love brown sugar. What are you talking about? I prefer brown sugar. Okay. All right. Now, as the cheese, as the cheese tower gets taller, I will do, I'm going to do the bakey cheese. I really want to do the bakey cheese. I don't put butter in coffee because I think that's gross. I tried it once. It was disgusting. Would not recommend. We're going to try bakey cheese now. This is, okay, so this is golden baked bliss cheese. Oh, it says, it's, you, oh, it says, okay, guys, here's the deal. You got to heat it up because it tastes so good. Heat on the skillet or grill for six to eight minutes. Bake at 350 for 10 minutes or warm in the microwave for 15 seconds. Butter is gross in coffee. Do not put butter in coffee. This shit's gross. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Disgusting. Disgusting. I put shredded cheddar in my tea once. Why? I'm not going to bake it in the background. I don't have any way to bake it. I don't want to keep running up, so. I'm going to sniff it. I'm going to eat it cold. I will report. I'll bake it like tomorrow or something for my lunch and report back. It smells. It smells like cooked cheese. No oven for me. Not even a microwave. I have a microwave. I'm just not going to go do it because it's. I'm lazy. I'm going to take the corner. Fresh and crispy. All right, I definitely feel like this needs to be cooked. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I definitely feel like that one needs to be cooked to be good. I will... I will report back on this one. I thought it would be tasty even if it wasn't, like, hot, but I feel like it needs to be hot. I'm not saying Arcus is right, because he's not, but perhaps I should have cooked it in the background. Does it taste weird? It doesn't taste weird. It just, it tastes like, like when you let a grilled cheese get cold, you know? It's not bad. It's like, I wouldn't say it's disgusting by any means, but yeah. All right. So we what we have left is, give me a second. All right. We have, I'm just going to list off everything we have yet. We have um, sharp cheddar. We have the cinder block, which is smoked cheddar. Um, this is smoked mozzarella. This is dill hofrarti. I, I almost want to leave this one for last because I feel like this is going to be the tastiest. Um, and then we have the Italian style cheese. So I think we will eat this one next. I think. Oh, shit. We still have a cubic butt ton of goudas too. Okay, what? Oh my god, I still have so much cheese. I was like, we're almost done. This went really fast. Oh my god. We have so much cheeses left, you guys. Oh no. Alright, hold on. Let me put these back in the box. They're in the way. They're in the way. I am lost in the cheese. I forgot about all the Gouda. We are going to have an ad break in about seven minutes. So when that happens, I'm going to refresh my wine and then probably pack a lot of these up during that ad break. But in the meantime, we'll keep eating Gouda. Because Gouda good, right? Like, there's no... I know! I didn't even think about that! I 
don't even know if I, oh, I do have all the cheddar. Okay, so this one is the bourbon gouda, also known as bluegrass. So this one says performing, and again, I am not sponsored. I am not. I bought this with my own money. So I just have to, I don't want to get yelled at by the FTC or whatever the heck handles this stuff. Performing a poignant ballad from the birthplace of American bourbon. Bluegrass strums smoky, sumptuous gouda with neat notes of caramel and vanilla. Source from real whiskey barrels. Taste the famed Kentucky pluck served straight or accompanied with fresh pears. She needs more che cheese brothers, please. I'm going to tag them on Twitter. I just have this whole pile of open cheese here. Actually, I'm going to move them this way. There we go. I liked, I've had a bourbon cheddar before, so I'm sure it'll be tasty. I like the bourbon cheddar. Let me just cut towards myself. Give me a moment. It should be Gouda. Guys, quick, rapid fire cheese puns. Go, 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 go. All right, there we go. We're open. I'm going to sniff it. Oh, yeah, it smells... It smells whiskey-y. That smells good. I hope... I hope it's good. Because, like... So, like... These either taste really, really, really good or they taste really, really, really fake. So, we shall see. That's a good chunk. The sm I dream of cheese. I'm going to dream of cheese tonight. I hope I don't end up with the cheese bars. <laughs> All right, all right. Mm. It's sweet. It's a little smoky. I'm getting like the bourbon -y taste. It's pretty good. Hmm. It doesn't taste fake. It doesn't have that fake bourbon taste, which is good. I think this one is a strong one to have by yourself, though. But by yourself. By itself? Do they ship internationally? I don't know. That's a good question. It's Cheese Brothers. Just look up Cheese Brothers in Wisconsin and you'll find it. I don't know if they ship internationally. I know they ship with dry ice, so maybe. Probably not, though. Because of the way customs goes. It's pretty good. It's not like my most favorite is cheese. It's a solid B, I think. Actually, maybe a C. I think I like the couch. I think I like the Havarti better. It's very strong. I think it would be hard to eat much more than like just that. All right, I got three minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop the ad now and then come back. So you guys hang on tight. I shall return with more wine and pack these up real fast. So give me one minute and I will be back.
<laughs> I was like walking down the stairs with all the cheese and I almost fell off. <laughs> like I had one of those moments where like I could either drop the cheese or fall down the stairs. I didn't either. But it's a very sketchy moment. I had a I had an adrenaline dump for real for real. On God. On God. Alright, I'm back. Hello well. Welcome. Welcome. I dream of cheese. Alright, so a lot of the cheese is back in the fridge, which is good. I did not die, luckily. So let's see what else we got. I'm getting like I don't want to say my stomach's hurting because it's not hurting, but a lot of cheese. All right, this is the rest of the cheese. This is our rapid fire round. True, me truly living the trolley experience. It's real. Okay, so we just did a smoked one, so we'll skip these ones for now. We still have like one more. Is that a gouda? That's a smoked gouda. Let's do another cheddar. Oh, this is smoked too. So let's do the sharp cheddar. There's methods to my madness, I swear. There's, I swear I have a method to my madness. This one doesn't have anything fancy, just a sharp cheddar culture, your sharp cheddar cheese. Six ounces of brotherly cheese. Our cheddar is made in small batches and aged to perfection over several months. Watch out. This one bites. It might poke ya. All right. Let's cut her open. Let's see who wins today. Me or the cheese. I have like the dullest knife in my entire drawer right now. <laughs> Simple doesn't mean bad. No, that's very true. That's 100% true. This is like just straight up when you think of cheese, it's this. I think it seems like I'm never going to be able to. Oh, it's wet. Why is cheddar always wet? What's up with that? Cheddar is always wet. Shiny. Oh, wow. That was like slow mo on the screen for me. Was it slow mo for you guys? That was weird. Dull knife in the drawer. All right, let's cheddar this up. the way I don't know yeah it was choppy weird my internet is not having a good time right now the wind is not being nice to it okay I'm going to eat this sharp cheddar it smells like cheese it's not that sharp I've had sharper cheese it's good though I mean, this is like, this is like comfort cheese you eat at two in the morning after you've had a bad dream. But, I mean, it's good. Which one is this? I don't know, probably like a B. It's not knocking my socks off, but it's not bad in any means. Like, it's fine. It's good. It's good cheese. It's like... Your standard cheese on a cheese tray. I don't know. I wouldn't. I mean, it's sharp, but it's not like. It's not sharp cheddar. I've had sharper cheddar. It's like, okay. That's all right. It's all right. It's all right, all right, all right. Let's do this one next. Sad cheese. Do you think it's sad? Is it sad? An F tier mac and cheese stream? It's just like literally me, two hours of me stirring mac and cheese. I should have gotten more water too. I'm out of Wawa. I got more wine, but no more Wawa. Alright, so this is called. Fratello. 
Brothers don't always get along, but in the case of the Asiago and Pomerajano, they're a match made in heaven. <laughs> Frate Delio is a testament to the brotherly bond inspired by the flavors of these two hard Italian cheeses, but soft and more meltable, <laughs> making it a perfect addition to pastas, pizzas, and more. No, I'm not. Thank you, Gamma, for bringing up prosciutto, but no, I will not be adding prosciutto. Thank you. I don't know if I can ever eat prosciutto again. That's what good cheese sounds like. Prosciutto. I won't go in. Go in! Ugh. I'm too tired to cut the cheese. <laughs> Uh, they really vacuum packed this one. Italy for the first time. Took over the stream. Should clip that and send it to Ega. Well, that could have been sketchy. Prosciutto is so good. Yeah, I know. It is good. I like prosciutto, but I don't know if I can ever eat it again. And I'm really sad about it, to be completely honest with you. Let her rip. I've been trying to stab it. I don't want to stab myself, though. I think I can get banned off Twitch for that. If I accidentally stab myself. There's 110 calories. It's okay. Argus is a doctor, so it's fine. All right. We open the cheese. Time to sniff it. Okay. So this is Asiago and Parmesan. What happened with the prosciutto? I don't even want to explain it. I don't even want to explain what happened with the prosciutto. I don't. I don't even want to get into it. Gamma knows what's up. It smells like old feet, so that means you know it's good. Not an accident, but if you did it on purpose, I guess. No, you can get banned for accidents, absolutely. Uh, 100... One ounce is 110 calories, and there's six ounces. Do not explain the prosciutto, Gamma. All right. I really like Parmesan cheese. It's one of my favorite cheeses, so I'm looking forward to this. Ah. Smells like stinky feet. I think it tastes more like Asiago than Parmesan, that's for sure. Hmm, I don't really like this one. It's got like the sour taste. It's definitely more Asiago than Parmesan. Is Parmesan the pizza cheese? Kind of. Yeah, it's okay. It's like, I'm gonna give it a D. Nah, yeah, no, I'm gonna give it a D. It's got the D. It's like, yeah. <laughs> like, I could not eat this and be happy with myself. Like, like the whole thing. It's got more of the sour milk taste than the, like, tangy taste that I like in Parmesan. It's, it's definitely more Asiago than Parmesan, I feel like. All right. Let's do... Since we're on pizza cheeses, let's do the smoked mozzarella. Sour milk taste. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't remember what it's called, but it's in, like, American chocolate. It starts with a B. It's got that chemical in it, and it makes, like, a soured milk taste. It's like a vomit taste. I can't remember what it's called, though. <laughs> you enjoyed that taste last year? Yeah, it's the enzyme thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got that going on. And, like, normally I like the vomit flavor. Like, I don't, I don't want to say I like the vomit flavor, but, like, normally, like, I'm not as sensitive to it as other people, but that one's very strong with that. 
Romaline? Maybe? I don't know what I don't know what it is. Butyric acid, yes. Yeah, so this one's got I wonder if I can give that one away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this one. You know what? The more I like you think about it, the more I'm like, eh. <laughs> like it's leaving the butteric acid, yeah. It's like leaving like a vomity taste in my mouth. I don't like it. Hello, small. Welcome to the cheese stream, buddy. Took a second to process it. It was a plow truck and like, what's going on? I thought you said pillow truck. Okay, so this is the smoked mozzarella. I can't believe Small's awake right now. Small, what are you doing? Why are you awake? Go to sleep. You lunatic. My nose is itchy. It's only it's only just two a.m. Small's like fifteen years old. You can tell because he's like it's only just two a.m. All right, this one's got a little bit of a rind. It's not a thick boy rind, but I'm gonna cut it off. Just to, just to shave it. Because I don't think it's going to be tasty. So he can be up. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, I got I to gotta take the corner off, too. Safe, nice skills. How's it? Hi, Mimo. The cheese, for the most part, has been very good. We've had a couple of them that haven't been great, but most of them have been pretty tasty. My tummy is feeling it, though. <laughs> I feel like I did after the MREs, which I still have to do. I think I'm going to try to do MRE on, like, a Saturday or something, though. <laughs> All right, we got cheese. This one's very soft, squishy cheese. It's squishy. I eat. It's got some... Oh, yeah, because it's mozzarella. I forgot I was eating. Yeah, it's smoky mozzarella. So I, I would be hard-pressed to find this one not tasty. And it is, in fact, tasty. We can make a good pizza right now, guys. This is scary, though. Cutting this with a knife like this. It's milky. Not super strong on the smoky flavor, but it's there. It's more in the nose. I'm really glad I waited on this one. Because I was like, crap, I have to get these, these streams done. I'm really glad I waited on this until I could smell and taste them. Yeah, it's kind of... If it wasn't smoky, it would taste a lot just like plain milk, I think. But it's pretty good. It's solid. It's a solid. Um, I'll put it like a C. It's solid. Bean and Marie, let's go. Low fat, low moisture mozzarella. Is that what you get at like the grocery store? All right, what do we got left? We got four left, guys. Wait, why do I... Oh, I didn't rank this one. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to rank this one because I, I didn't eat it hot, so I feel like it would be unfair to rank it at the moment. I think I put it at... A, yeah. Okay, so we have the Dill Havarti, which we're saving for last. We have the Classic Gouda. We have Smoked Cheddar. And we have old smoky smoked gouda. Okay, so I don't want to do. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna. I don't want to double up on smoke, so we'll probably we're gonna have to. Let's do the smoked cheddar, and then we'll do classic gouda, and then we'll do smoked. No, let's do the smokes first. How much cheese have you forced V to eat so far? About ten pounds. Four ounces? Yeah, maybe. I cannot eat $100 worth of cheese in one sitting. We have found out. So this is smoked cheddar. It smells smoky. I'm going to be having a lot of fondue, I think. I get bread. I get bread. I toast bread. I melt cheese. Put bread in cheese. All right. It looks cheesy. The list is incomplete. You can help by expanding it. It's definitely got big smoke swankiness. 
Possibly. I don't think I've had it by itself, though. Usually if it's low motion, I'm like mixing it with ricotta for lasagna or something. That's true. Bread and cheese. Yeah, you melt it. It's fondue. You melt the cheese and then you dip bread in it. I don't know if this is a rind or not. It kind of looks like a rind. But it kind of doesn't. I think it's just like the smoke line that meat gets. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. That one had like a legitimate rind. This one does too, if you look at it. Like, you see, it's kind of hard to see with the camera, but it's, I don't know, it's like a smoke. It's got like stuff on the outs. What is this? What is it? What is it, guys? What is that? It came off the cheese. Can I eat that? Am I going to live? Am I going to die? Okay, it's very, very smoky. This is very, very, very smoky. Smelling. I really like do a lot of streams where I'm eating. Like, not a lot, but I feel like more than most VTubers. It's really smoky. It's not pepper. There's no pepper in this one. It's not hard. It's very soft and squishy. You can bend it. The, I don't think I'm the first cheese tuber. I really don't. There's got to be more. I'm not the first person to a cheese tear stream. Yeah, it's okay. I'm realizing I don't really like smoked cheese. That's just fine. No. Yeah. It's like a G. Look. The smoke is very overpowering on that one. It's. It, I feel like I'm eating like a piece of burning wood. Like... Like, I feel like I'm standing in the smoke of a bonfire and, like, not in a good way. <laughs> That's all I'm getting from that. The local scratch lottery ticket addict? Bro! I hate that, dude. Oh, no. No, it's pull tabs. It's got to be pull tabs. It must be the pull tabs. The pull tabs are way more ridiculous. I refuse. <laughs> this is such a refined stream. It's all cheese and wine. It's the pull tabs. Yep, see? Okay. I have one smoke. I think we're going to wait on the smoke because that was a lot of smoke. Okay. Pull tab ASMR win. I would need you guys to do a lot of investment for me to do a pull tab ASMR. I cannot afford to do a pull tab ASMR. But if I did win, if I, if I, if I did win a pull tab ASMR, I wouldn't get the money because you have to get the money from where you buy the pull tabs from. So... It doesn't matter. All right. This is just standard, basic, white girl Gouda. White girl Gouda. White girl Gouda. What cheese is in the S class? Um, I, I repacked that one away. I believe that was the Havarti. No, this is the Havarti. It was the Adelaide. Adelaide? How much of an investment? Well, so a pull tabs are a dollar. So if you wanted a two hour stream of just pull tabs, I mean, that would have to be like a lot of, that'd have to be over, that'd be like 200 pull tabs. Just buy fake ones. Can you buy fake pull tabs? <laughs> Is that a thing? Be admitting to local 50 plus chain smoking waitresses with three incarcerated kids have more disposable income than her. No! It's not that they have more disposable income. It's they're willing to throw it away on pull tabs. Betting on horses and broke even after losing a lot of money doing the same thing previously. Amazing. 
I can't gamble on Twitch though. I don't know if that counts. All right, time to cut this open. So this says, Gouda leaves a lasting impression on our cheeses, supplying the canvas that many Cheese Brothers specialties take inspiration from. As we know, because a majority of these cheeses were in fact Gouda. We thought this pro prolific portrait should be showcased in its own for the artistry it provides as prodigies. Burgers and grilled cheese get a fresh perspective with our full flavored staple. So these are the things with these little cheese wheels, right? Because like you think like if you're going to put on a burger, you got to cut it like a burger. You know, so you have your nice circle. I can't cut this like this. I'd have to shred it or chop it this way. But that's not good for Borgar. I'd have to shred it. This is my shredding. <laughs> my shredding action. Can you tell I'm getting tired? I had such a long day and I'm eating a butt ton of dairy right before bed and drinking wine. I'm going to die, you guys. Why do I do this to myself? I should have done this stream on a Saturday. Just slap the whole thing on a burger. Yes. And put it on a grill. What things I do for you guys. If I do another charity stream, which I would like to do, um, I'm going to have a significantly reduced amount of rewards. Going to sleep right after eating a bunch of dairy. Me playing a dangerous game. It's what I have to do. You guys, do you guys understand what I do for you? No, more rewards. It's taking me an entire year to get through all the rewards. A hundred dollar fancy pants sampler? This is a hundred dollar fancy pants sampler. This is a hundred and twenty dollar fancy pants sampler. It came, it came with a gold ticket. This is a fancy pants sampler. I get free smoked cheddar. I don't want it, but I can have it. One dono stream equals a year of content. I rest my case. Oh my god. I drank half a gallon of milk since I got home from work today. For real, for real. Alright. Let me smell it. Yup. It's cheese. <laughs> it smells like Gouda. Before the bean stream. That's what I'm saying. See, Buddha knows what's up. I'm so slow with this. I don't stream enough is the problem. I can't like rapid fire. Ch -ch -ch -ch. All right. Straight up, normal, plain, no holds bar, Gouda. Nothing weird. No smoke, no peppers, no sugar, just Gouda. Good Gouda. Hello, Big Bird Fun Cookie Monster. Welcome to the stream. We are eating white girl Gouda. <laughs> Oh. And it's tasty. It's pretty tasty. It's creamy. It tastes like Gouda. It's good. It's good. It's Gouda. It's, I mean, like, it's fine. <laughs> No, it's good. I would be good on a burger. I did that on a burger. <sighs> I'm suffering a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is a staple, right? This is like... This is like your childhood friend in the anime that you go back to because you tried dating the hot girl and she kicked your butt and made you feel terrible about yourself. So you went back to the Gouda. That's that's what that is. It's a childhood friend of cheese. It's the childhood friend of cheese. Ah. All right. Smoked Gouda. <laughs> Feel like chat won't understand the analogy. They'll just get turned on by being beat up. That's true. Yeah, see, Beaver's already got a heart on. What are we going to do about this? Because that's me. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys. All right, so this one has, like, a hefty, like, thing. You can't really see it in the camera. <laughs> Striker Tempest, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. Um, This has, like, a healthy thing on the outside of Smonk. 
Um, I'm going to open it up on that side because we ball, as they say. As the wise men once said, we ball. You guys need to stop having a thing for waymen. That beat you up. Okay, Hello. that's not cool. Thank you for the bitty striker. Thank you, thank you. All right, it's got like a, it's got crystals. Oh, it's like nothing but smoke. It's just smoke. Don't kink shame. I'm not kink shaming. I'm like lifestyle shaming. When I see this much white stuff on like cheese, I get nervous. Just, just, oh, just take a big bite out of it. It's just straight smoke. That's all I smell. Can I eat this? What is this? It's like white powder. What is that? Guys, what is that stuff? It's a mess. Foreign violent fetishes show up. God damn it, Joey. On cheese. You're right, I am in on antibiotics. If anything, this will do better to knock out the infection in my face. Whoa, okay. Relax, cheese. It's jumping. I don't know if it's a rind or if it's just smoke line. I think it's just a smoke line. Time to eat it. You can see the white stuff on my cheese. It doesn't taste like anything. If I get sick tomorrow, I'm blaming you guys. Mm. Yeah, it's... I like it better than the smoked cheddar. But it's not like... It also, I just might be cheesed out. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay. I'll put it there. I'll put it as a C. It's a solid C. It's like, I don't know, I'm so, the smoke, there's so much smoke. It's over smoked. The first smoked one I had I thought was really good, but maybe I'm just out of smoke. Like I'm smoked out, you know. Gotta get my white cheese powder over to the side here. Go over that cheese powder. That didn't happen. All right, last. Well, the point is not good. All right, last but not least, Havarti Harvest. I hope this is tasty. I'm really hoping this is tasty. I'm looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it all day. My hopes are pegged that this will also be an S rank. We will find out. <laughs> It says on the back. I'm suffering a little bit. Can you Can you guys tell I'm suffering a little bit? The harvest is a time to reap what you sow. Again, not sponsored. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and enjoy nature's bounty. This cheese is our tribute to this season. A fresh and verdant blend of buttery Havarti and herbaceous dill. Try it with fresh salmon, fruit preserves, a crisp glass of white wine, or all of the above. Probably made him with skeins and I cannot fly. If it wound up disappointing after all the hype. I know. I feel like I like dill flavor a lot, so I think it'll be okay. I have a lot of smoke flavor in my tongue though, is the problem. I'm completely out of water and the wine isn't quite wiping that flavor out. Cheese stuffed chicken? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we're going to have to wait a while before I do the M oops, the MRE stream because I'm suffering. Every day I'm suffering. Beep, 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 beep. I'm going to sniff it. We're going to get a little sniffy. Some fried pickles. Yes. Yes, girl. It doesn't smell like anything. Ooh, Dylan Ranch sounds really tasty. 
All I smell is smoke. It's caught in my sinuses. I should have I should have eaten the smoke last. I realize I don't like smoked cheeses. If anything today has taught me is I don't really like smoked cheeses. Ranch is blessed. Blessed ranch. All right, let's go. I cut off a chunk. I sniff. I'm getting like zero dill. What is this? It's Havarti. I'm getting Havarti. I'm getting the Havarti like tangy. Zero dill smell. You can see the dill on it, sort of though. Sort of. Smoked cheese, but if you are, they're great. Yeah, I feel like it would be good in like fondue and not just like straight cheese. Oh, oops. I get like zero dough. I just taste like Harvardi. Oh, I'm so sad. There's zero dill taste. That was a pretty big piece I ate. I It could be that my tongue is just worn out from all this smoke and stuff, but there's like zero dill flavor. Yeah, it just tastes like Cavardi, which kind of tastes like Gouda. <laughs> I'm going to be having nightmares about Gouda now. <laughs> They're not going to be Gouda dreams. They're going to be bad dreams. Yeah, I'm getting zero dill. That's really disappointing. I'm sad. I don't know if my tongue is just wiped out. My palate, as I say. Yeah. Yeah, this, this just tastes like Havarti. I'm so sad. Mid. Mid. The Adelheed won. I'm trying to see if there's like a dill aftertaste. I'm not really getting that either though. Oh. Man. There it is. That's our cheers tear stream, guys. The Adelheed. I guess if you want to go try a cheese, try the Adelheed. It's V recommended. Do not get the Chihuahua cheese. It's not recommended. <laughs> we did it. I feel like I ate like 50 pounds of rocks. <laughs> the what cheese? The Adel Adelheed? A-D-E-L-H-E-I-D. Adelheed? Floor cheese one. Yeah, that's the only cheese I dumped on the ground and then continued to eat. Killing go. Oh, killing goals. Let's go. Yeah, hitting goals. Let's go. Look for the Edelheed. I don't know if these guys have like stuff in stores. I don't know if like Edelheed from a different brand, 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 different brand would taste different. Um, but yeah, it's like a, it's got a, it's got a, it's tangy. Recommend. Big recommend. So yeah. I'll, uh, I'll post the actual tier up on, like, Facebook and Twitter so you guys can take, like, a little bit closer look on it. Um, the pictures are kind of small, and I don't think you'll be able to read them, but you'll have to watch the stream. you have to watch the stream. They're, uh, where did they say they're from? Barron, Wisconsin? I don't even know where that is. I don't even know where Barron, Wisconsin is. But yeah. So, um, let's see. I don't think we're going to raid tonight just because I don't, I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> I just want to put the cheese away and go to sleep instead of, instead of raiding. So we probably won't raid tonight, but, um, I'm streaming tomorrow with Kitsu and Taiga. We're playing Helldivers 2. Baron is north of Euclid. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, wait, don't enter it. There's funny coming on. What does that mean? But I'm sleepy, Bleach. I want to go to sleep. Am I getting raided? Oh, please don't raid me. Please, I beg. 
I had their cheese before. It's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, and yes. What? Can I leave now? <laughs> right as I leave. No. Hello, Raiders. Fresh delivery of pickle oil applied directly to the cucumbers. Jesus Christ. Hello, pickle. Hello, Raiders. Holy crap. An ad's going to start in four minutes, and I was just wrapping up stream. I ate, I ate so much cheese, you guys. I have to eat more cheese for Aww. the Raiders. Hello, Pee, you pickle. have to eat more cheese for the Raiders. All right. Well, because pickle's here, I will eat one more piece of cheese for the Raiders. I don't remember which one I like, though. Not that one. That one tastes like puke. That one was meh. I think all the good ones I already put away. I'll eat the cheddar. I'll eat the cheddar for you, Pickle. She's full of soup. Pickle, I'm full of cheese. The Adelheide is downstairs. I already put it away. I put it away mid midstream so it wouldn't get warm. And I almost dropped it down the stairs and then fell downstairs. So I almost died for cheese. I'll eat the cheddar. Cheddar. Cheddar for Pickle. I can't even snooze the, the ads coming because I already snoozed three times. If you get upgrades, does your name change to W? No, V is better. What the? Yeah, right? It's got crispy. It's got the crispy cheese quistos. Ooh. -woo. Crispy cheese quistos. Ooh. -woo. Hello, Raiders. I, this cheese is... Raiders. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is how much I appreciate your raid. Here, wait. Hold on. Q. <laughs> Q. Hold on. Hold on. I'm an art artiste. Q. Cummies. I. E. S. That's art. You guys can totally read that, right? I wrote Q. Cummies for you guys. That's how much I appreciate this. Yeah, I will eat it. Watch. Help. It hit me in the back of the throat. <laughs> My brother. It's been consumed. No, it definitely said cucumbers. Definitely said it. I do this for you guys. It's so cheesy. <laughs> Did we give a shout out to Pickle? Did I miss it? I will be except for sex toy. <laughs> Thank you, Magnum Beef. Magnum Beef. I probably have Magnum Cheese to go with your Magnum Beef. Yippee! No commies, lazy and stupid, brutal. There is no blue cheese. I did not have a blue cheese in my my cheese kit. I will be except. Uh, I've swallowed the cucumber cheese. What a weird sentence. Um, I had some with like questionable powder on the outside. That's what this is. This is questionable cheese powder. It's specifically not in a line for specific reasons. <laughs> Thank you, El Monte, for the follow and welcome to the meat hall. I do like cheese crystals. One of the cheeses I had was an eight year aged cheddar. Which was like, eh, flavor-wise, but like, it did have cheese crystals, and I like the cheese crystals. I actually really like cheese crystals. Ugh. The Tanami. It's so full. I also love cheese. I ha I feel like I have, like, rocks in my stomach now, though. Like, it feels so heavy. I will bang swish. Now I feel like I have to raid because I got to pass the raiders along. The mythical cheese crystals. I was going to raid Pickle too. And then I was like, no, maybe we won't raid. And then... Continue the raid chain. Me, I know a cheese person. What do you mean you know a cheese person? Oh, Pickle oped. Pickle's a Midwesterner. She oped. Pick, yeah, Pickle, go live, and then I'll raid you. <laughs> How many times can we bounce? How many times can we bounce these people back and forth? Raid that duck? Is the duck on? 
The duck is on. Oh, the duck has three viewers. Let's are, guys, we're gonna raid a duck. Guys, we're gonna raid a duck. Like an actual duck. We're raiding duck. Okay, hold on. Thank you guys. Um, Tomorrow I'm streaming Helldivers <laughs> 2 with Taiga. Gage Champ, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. So Kitsu and Taiga, it'll be fun. Um, We're gonna go raid Taki. Um, I can't remember the other person's name. But, oh, add. So I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great night. Go, go. Oh, let's go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Oh my god. Amazing. I love this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanna get I wanna get in their channel first so I can get their full reaction. Oh, they're playing Elder Ring. Fantastic. Alright, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye! Oh no, it's an ad. Wait, we're waiting. I gotta get through an ad. I want their full reaction. I want the full reaction. Goodbye! Have a good night! All right, we raid. Goodbye.